We're using our fan brush to start this Peruvian lily, or whatever that name is. I guess Peruvian lily is a good name for it. The other one's too complicated. Now we're going to make petals that are shaped wider on the outside and narrower towards the center. And we'll give it a dark line. These are really very gorgeous flowers. And they look similar to a lily, but some of the le of the petals are very big and some are much narrower. And they don't have the classic lily petal shape. They have this kind of petal shape. So there's going to be three of these big petals and then three of the narrower petals. And again, a darker line down the center. And we'll give a touch of yellowish white on the edge of each one. Since it has this beautiful blend of yellow white turning gradually into a lighter into light pink and then to darker pink towards the center. And here we'll put down those narrow center petals that are mostly yellow. We'll do this by pressing down the brush and twisting it as it comes towards the center. And these do come in different colors. So I chose the ones that I thought were the prettiest or the most striking. And it has those tiger spots on it. So we'll first put in with a small brush the the middle stamens. And then using the same brush and the same uh, dark color, we'll put down some it's not really tiger spots, it's more like leopard spots. Not sure why it's called the tiger lily. If it has more leopard like spots. Anyways, but it has these little dark lines on the light colored petals. And the darker colored petals, it has a little bit on the edges. But much smaller and more blended in. So here's a bud. And we'll give it some leafy stem things. So you see how it reminds you of a lily, but it's sort of different. It's like a different variety. And I'll make those leaves by using the fan brush again, this time in like green with yellow, and sort of shaking it as it moves outwards and ending at a point. And each petal gets a little dot at the end. It's sort of like a little pinch in the petal. And we'll get started on our, on our second lily. And this time we'll use just different shades of pink without yellow with our fan brush again and it's very useful for making a wider outside of the petal and working it towards a point towards the center you just hold it down and twist it as it comes to the middle
And you can try to use a blend of pink and white while you're doing the petals, or you can blend it on top afterwards, add some extra white on top. And here are the narrower petals, the lighter pink. So you will add some white on top. And if it gets too blended in, just add more white. And touch it very lightly so that it doesn't get too blended. And here's just the slightest bit of yellow on those narrow petals. And of course the stamens. And this also has those leopard spots. But for this, instead of just using straight um, crimson, I decided that it needs black because the petals themselves are so dark, crimson would just blend, blend right in. So I took some black with the crimson and made them a darker, darker red color. And I used a flat brush to touch the edges. This is a brush with a very small flat edge, even though it's very long, it's, the top is very small. So here the spots are mostly on the narrow petals and on the edges of the wide petals. This flower reminds me sort of a, a bow with ribbons hanging off of it. It's really a very striking flower. We'll darken the centers since it has this brighter patch in the middle and then works out towards the outer edges of the petals with a lighter blended color. And it'll just give its nice greenery around it, and more leaves. Again, green and yellow mixed together, and sort of shake the brush and end in a point. Start in a point and end in a point to make these little leafy things. <laughs> 